Hello everybody, this is Trippin' with Tech back again. Um, we're doing another video. I, on this video, I am going to uh, take you through a rough kind of way of how to hack and toss your, your Evo laptop, um, as I've done with mine. Uh, first of all, every link I'm going to have in this will be in the, in the description link to all the uh, different pages that we use and all the different stuff that you have to download and everything else will be in the description it'll be really really easy to do okay or should be first of all you're going to want to go to this page right here the first page i have up i'll have that in the description and this is kind of like a quick tutorial on how to do this your first thing you're going to want to do is download the Tongfeng Hackintosh Utility. All right. That is going to be right here. You want to download both of these. The DMG one, which is for Mac OS. You're going to want that one. That's so it fixes the uh, sleep issue with it. And then you're going to download the Tongfeng Hackintosh Utilities Windows Setup EXE. All right. Now you're gonna click that. You can click that, you're gonna download it, whatever you're gonna um, set it up, install it on your machine. Once you install it, you're gonna have it right over here. Okay, here's the Tongfeng app that you will get. Okay, you're gonna to wanna to go to configuration right here on it you want to click on pretty much everything except for 4k and the fake SMC thing right here that says not recommended those are the only two things you're not going to click one because well your screen is not 4k and it says not recommended right there that's why all right but everything else check those boxes right there okay and then you want to get the latest config all right, click on that, it'll download it for you. And that's what you're gonna have right here under Tongfeng EFI, all right? You're gonna have the boot and the OC on that one, okay? Those two you're gonna need. Download the latest version of Mac OS, okay? Now they say you can refer to this guide, whatever. It took me a while to kind of figure it out. I go here, make installer in Windows, all that stuff. You're going to want to get Gib Max Mac OS. I'm going to have that description, that link in the description as well. It's going to be right here. You're going to do here. You're going to download the zip. You're going to extract the zip, all that stuff. And then you're going to get what's right down here. Okay. Then you're going to right click on Gib Mac OS and run it as, as administrator. All right. Now, once it's you're there, you're going to toggle recovery only. Okay. And then you're going to search for your desired version of Mac OS. Now, my suggestion is to grab the most recent one. It does have to be a full install. Okay. But for mine, it was number one. So it was the most recent install. But whatever is the most recent full install, you're going to want to grab that one. And it will it will download the recovery whatever thing to whatever area it downloads it to okay now what you're going to want to do is once it downloads it and it's finished with that it's going to show this little thing right here you're going to want to copy that path right there from c all the way down to the end where it says catalina at the end you just want to highlight that and press Control c to copy it down okay once you get that done you're going to go on to making the installer next you're going to open the make install batch file all right as an administrator so you're going to want to go to make install right click on that run it as, as an administrator and then select your drive with option o for open core okay so you're going to select whatever drive it is so you know on this one it's going to be you know whichever number is is your drive which is your usb drive okay and oh 
So you're going to push, you know, whatever number that is, and O. I did a capital O because it looks like a capital O. Okay. And once the drive is formatted, it will ask you for the recovery package again, the package that we copied up earlier. Okay. So what you're going to do now is just right in that spot, you're just going to go control V. Since you already copied it earlier, it's already copied. It's already there. The path is copied. And press control V to paste. And then you're just going to press enter and it's going to do its thing. This will take a while, but it's okay. Because once you download all that, it'll be done. All right. And then what you're going to want to do is when you get back in there, you want to follow the instructions. Um, for this, you're going to need a, a separate hard drive in your laptop. Yeah, I, I guess you could probably use an external drive too, but um, I just used my the Samsung drive that I installed on the other video. I used that, um, and all I have is Mac OS installed on that drive. There's nothing else on that drive. You're going to want to go. You're going to want to um, fresh drive your, you know, when you go in and everything else like that. You, and you just, you don't want to partition anything of that drive or none. It's just that drive. You can't have anything else on that drive except for Mac OS. Okay. And then. On the flash drive that you use to make the installer with, you're going to copy the boot and OC folder to the EFI folder, I believe. Yeah, because it's going to say boot and OC. So you're just going to replace those two folders with the folders that you got from the Tong Feng Hackintosh utility one, okay? The folders that you got from this, from the installer, because it's, it's gonna have the EFI and the boot folder in there. You're gonna replace the folder that came with that one with the one that comes from the uh, Tong Feng Hackintosh utility one, all right? That's the only way it's gonna work correctly, okay? Then you're gonna, in, in BIOS, you want to, you want to boot into BIOS. and in BIOS, you need to s disable secure boot and disable launch CSM and change to UEFI mode in BIOS if it's not already there. It should already be just like that for UEFI, but you do need to make sure that you disable secure boot and launch CSM. Disable both of those things and you should be fine. And boot from flash and install Mac OS. Okay, after the boot, after booting into the system, use the Tongfeng Hackintosh utility for Mac OS to fix the sleep issues and stuff like that with it, and enjoy your Hackintosh build. All right, so from this point on, I'm going to kind of give you a quick little rundown on how to do this. Okay, so let's go. Okay, guys, the first thing we're going to do at this point is restart our computer so we're gonna go to restart you're gonna hold down the shift key the shift key right there you're gonna hold it down while pressing restart now give me a second I'm gonna set down my little wonderful camera phone thingy right here and do this real quick Now what that's going to do is that's going to boot into the um, recovery mode real quickly. And you're going to go to Troubleshoot, Advanced Options, UEFI Firmware Settings. You're going to hit Restart. Okay. And it'll restart and it'll go right into BIOS for you. Might take a few minutes. All right. Once you're in BIOS, you're going to want to go over to boot. You're going to want to make sure that launch CSM is disabled. You're going to want to 
make sure that secure boot is disabled like it is on mine once the SM is also disabled on mine okay you want both those things disabled and you also want OS support to be UEFI okay for advanced settings now as long as that's like that it should all work just fine okay then you're just gonna go and exit quit without saving and then what you're going to want to do at that point is once as you quit you want to start hitting that you have 12 button okay and then you're going to want to go to max mac os base okay now what that does is that will boot into your little boot drive all right your, your little flash drive that you have plugged in the computer like mine is plugged into my computer right there all right and it'll, it'll take a little bit. You're going to have to wait a little while for it to load up. Flash drives aren't, you know, the fastest thing in the world. But once it loads up, we'll be able to show you what to do next. Okay, once you're in Mac OS recovery, you're going to go to Disk Utility. Okay, go Continue. Now mine has a Mac OS based system. It's on my new volume. Now notice you have Windows on one. Do not do anything to that one. Alright, don't erase it, don't do anything. Okay, but your, your drive will show up here like one of these drives. You're going to go, you're going to click erase, you're going to choose, click erase, you're going to choose, uh, nothing, because I'm not erasing my stuff. Let's say you're there, you're going to click, I'm going to do this on my normal one, except I'm not going to do this. You're going to click Mac OS journaled, and then you're going to click erase. But I'm not going to do that because I still want Windows on my machine. I don't want to mess up my machine right now. But you're going to click erase. It's going to reformat it. It's going to put it the way it needs to be. You're going to click out of there. You're going to go to reinstall Mac OS, and you're just going to go through the prompts. And it'll reinstall it. It will, it will restart at least once or twice during the install. And each time you're going to have to select your actual hard drive that Mac OS is being installed on. Um, I'll show you that with the uh, restart into Mac OS here in a moment. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and restart real quickly. Click on F12. All right, now I'm not going to go back to Mac base. I'm going to new volume. Okay, new volume. On the other hand, will bring up will bring up Mac OS for me. Give it just a moment here. And look, now we are in Mac OS, in our Hackintosh, okay? Now, remember you have that Tongfeng Macintosh, Hacken, that Hackintosh utility, DMG? You wanna copy that on your desktop of your Hackintosh. You wanna install it. You wanna click it. And you're going to want to go to tools. You want to click fix sleep. Okay. Now I already did this before for myself. So I don't really need to worry about that. But as you can see. Everything works. Um, there are a few things that don't work. Your Wi-Fi. And so far I haven't been able to get my Wi-Fi to work. Which is okay. I've got it hard lined anyways. 
internet still works as long as it's hardlined. Everything else works pretty good. Bluetooth works. Um, my speakers work just fine. Uh, everything else works. I mean, it's it's a it's a working Hackintosh. Now your keyboard's going to be colorful and light lit up like crazy. However, it doesn't have to be that. You can just turn it off. Under this Hackintosh utility, you can go to turn off the light style. Okay, put that. Then your thing is off. All right. And well, that's about it. This is your Hackintosh Evo laptop or Evo laptop or whatever you want to call it. And if you guys like this video, um, leave a like. Uh, if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. Um, if you know anybody who could maybe use this video as a tutorial, share it with somebody. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment. Uh, if you have any issues trying to get this done, leave a comment. I'll help you through it. Okay? All right. Have a good day.